Once again, Saudi Arabia is persecuting people for speaking up. Please share this video widely to raise awareness and please sign the petitions linked below. According to Amnesty International, a court in Saudi Arabia has decided to proceed with the prosecution of online activist Raif Badawi for apostasy. In Saudi Arabia, apostasy, or the renunciation of religion, carries an automatic death penalty. Badawi is founder of the website Saudi Arabian Liberals, which was created to foster political and social debate and for which he's been in prison since June 2012 on charges that include setting up a website that undermines general security and for ridiculing Islamic religious figures. Amnesty International considers him to be a prisoner of conscience, detained solely for peacefully exercising his right to freedom of expression. Badawi's trial began in June 2012 in Jeddah. The charges against him relate to a number of articles on his website, including one he wrote about Valentine's Day, which Saudi Arabia prohibits people from celebrating. Badawi was accused of ridiculing Saudi Arabia's Commission on the Promotion of Virtue and Prevention of Vice, also known as the Religious Police. He'd written in one article, Congratulations to us for the Commission on the Promotion of Virtue, for teaching us virtue, and for its eagerness to ensure that all members of the Saudi public are among the people of paradise. Badawi is also accused of failing to remove other articles by other people on his website, including one insinuating that a leading Saudi university had become a den for terrorists. Saudi Arabia, a theocratic Islamist state that practices Sharia law and the literalist Salafi strain of Islam, is one of the most oppressive countries in the world. Public executions take place on a regular basis in major cities. The death penalty is given for murder, rape, robbery, false prophecy, drug use, witchcraft and sorcery, adultery, and for apostasy, which can include any kind of speech criticizing Islam. Execution methods include beheading by sword, crucifixion, stoning, and execution by firing squad. One regular public execution site in Riyadh, Dira Square, is nicknamed Chop Chop Square. On December 24, 2012, a well-known Saudi writer, Turki Ahmed, was arrested on orders of the interior minister, who was tipped off by a religious organization. Turki Ahmed was arrested for making comments on his Twitter account that are allegedly insulting to Islam, his family member said. On his Twitter account, Ahmed had challenged radical Islamists that he said were twisting Muhammad's message and he had denounced what he described as a neo-Nazism on the rise in the Arab world called Islamic extremism. His comments had provoked fierce debate on social networking sites in Saudi Arabia between his supporters and his detractors. This persecution of human expression is not anything new in Saudi Arabia. A recent case involved Hamza Kashgari, a poet and a pro-democracy activist who is still imprisoned for tweeting three posts on Muhammad's birthday, including one that simply stated, On your birthday, I shall not bow to you, I shall not kiss your hand, rather I shall shake it as equals do, and smile at you as you smile at me. I shall speak to you as a friend, no more. Hamza Kashgari had also described the status of women's rights in Saudi Arabia, saying that Saudi women won't go to hell because it's impossible to go there twice. Kashgari had managed to escape in an attempt to apply for asylum in New Zealand, but on the way he was detained in Malaysia, whose authorities promptly deported him back to Saudi Arabia in February 2012. According to the website freehamza.com, Kashgari has been detained for those three tweets in Saudi Arabia for over 320 days as of this recording. Raif Badawi, Hamza Kashgari, and Turki Ahmed are three people who have been targeted and persecuted by Saudi Arabia's theocratic Salafi Islamist regime. There are many more dissidents persecuted and killed by the Saudi government, many whose names will never know. There are many more who remain silent out of fear. Those of us who have the freedom of expression in the lands that we live in have a responsibility to speak up, to raise awareness, and to do whatever we can to pressure Saudi government and our Western governments who remain allied with the Saudi dynasty to put an end to the oppressive practices of Saudi Arabia. 
Saudi petrodollars fund numerous religious schools or madrasas all over the world, preaching the same brand of supremacism and hatred for all those who do not follow Salafi Islam obediently and quietly. Please share this video, share the articles linked below, and sign the petitions to help these activists, writers, dissident people. Your voice is needed. You can use your freedom and your voice to help those who are being violently forced to not have a voice. Thank you.